victory is so sweet. I think I've got a bit of a toothache as it goes. Is that sweet? <laughs> oh, I just feel town one, Newcastle United three. <laughs> that is by far the best away victory I think this season. Obviously, the Brighton one was nice. Don't get me wrong. Beating Brighton, who was top of the table at the time, was nice. But beating Huddersfield with all the stuff that I was remembered from the last game. Yes, I remember you, Huddersfield fans. You got on me. And now we seeked retribution. And we got it. <laughs> get in. Now, starting with the game. In fact, no, before the game, let me take you through my journey. Sorry. So... On the way there, nice little short two-hour journey and Newcastle United fans, you know what I mean by short because we're at the top of the UK pretty much. Anywhere we go is pretty much over two hours. So if two hours is pretty much nothing compared to all the journeys that we had to do to London. Newcastle United fans, I went down to Brighton, that was pretty much a day and a half. So two-hour journey down for a half-five kickoff, beautiful. Arrived outside the John Smith Stadium, had no ticket by the way, it was just going off the cuff, just thought, you know what, if not, if I don't get a ticket, I'm going to watch in a pub down there, get some good content from the channel and head back up north, and that's it. Got down there now, roughly about half three, looking for a ticket outside the turnstiles, if you guys see me, you know what it was. And then, strangely enough, the people that I was with, shout out to Whistler, shout out to Scud, we spotted, or I spotted, Jamal LaSalle's mum and dad brilliant people brilliant people um went over there started speaking to him obviously about jamal and how proud we are of having him as our captain two twos now they have a spare ticket they have a spare ticket and who does that ticket go to me i'm so grateful so once again jamal if you're watching yeah, yeah. <laughs> appreciate it man <laughs> Mrs. Lascelles, Mr. Lascelles, if you're watching anyone related to that family, thank you so, so much, because this game, I couldn't watch it without you guys, so thank you so much. Um, so that is my story going into the game. Now, starting with the game, lineups, as you can see on the screen, Newcastle United decided to recall Anita back to the side, uh, ahead of Yedlin, and also went with Murphy up top as well, which I, I was glad to see as well. Atsu got another start, although he spent predominantly most of the game on the right-hand side, if, if I'm right in saying that. And I would like to see him on the left-hand side, but obviously Richie got preference over Atsu on that occasion. So pretty much everything else is more or less the same. Darlow and goal. As I said, Anita was right back this time. Lascelles and Clark in the centre of defence. Dumb it. Another member has been added to that in-your-back-pocket club. In fact, it's, it's getting overcrowded in there. I'm not going to lie, man. He's going to have to get a new new pair of pants or something because it's getting very crowded in there. Knockouts in there, Costas in there. I don't even know who you want to add into into there from, uh, what's it called? Huddersfield Town, sorry, Kachunga. You know, he had a decent game, but come on, end of the day now, he didn't make him look silly. And Dummett is proving a lot of doubt is wrong, man, including myself. So fair play to Dummett on that one. Midfield, Said Atsu and obviously Richie on the wings, Shelby and Cole back in the middle, and then up top was Diame sitting behind Murphy. And what a game those two guys had. Diame, not as good as, as he can be. Uh, Murphy took full advantage of his opportunity, especially with the goal. And I was happy as Larry with that one. Huddersfield Town, obviously, Wagner was in the stands watching the game. Um, they decided to go with Wells up front and had likes of Kachunga, Moy supporting him in midfield as well. So, starting with the game, Newcastle United got off to a good start and I'm so proud of that because sometimes man, we have awful starts, especially in the last two games against Bristol City and, uh, and Brighton, of course, we started off poorly. But this occasion, we started off well, earned the penalty and I say earned the penalty with a little cheeky wink in there as well because... When I first seen it, first time, second time, third time even, I was thinking, have we robbed them a little bit? I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to take it anyway, but I thought we robbed them a little bit. On the fifth time round, after a lot of convincing, I could see that his legs, Richie, his legs got kicked, uh, which allowed him to kick his own legs and they obviously got taken down. Great one-two work, by, by the way, in the corner before, obviously, the penalty got awarded by Shelby and Richie. 
Uh, and obviously then it was dispatched, put away by Richie in the 10th minute. Win one all to the good. Absolute scenes. And we've taken the lead. Um, obviously, Huddersfield got back into it. You know, they're not going to rest. Uh, they had a, a good shot from about 30, 40 yards out from Billing. That was well saved by Darlow. Um, and then after that, God knows how we did it. We took the lead, or we, we extended the lead, sorry. Went 2-0 up, courtesy of Murphy. Now, this goal baffled me. I wasn't even prepared for this one, you know. Speaking to the guy next to me about why I'm a Newcastle that I fan and all the rest of it. And then all of a sudden, I see Murphy... He's near the penalty area, but I'm thinking, nah, this is easy collect for, for Ward. And somehow he gets a second bite of the cherry, puts away underneath the keeper as well, and we're 2 0 to the good. Great long ball by Shelby. Should have been collected by Ward. Ward obviously went and, you know, went off to the lines and said, look, he's kicked out of my hands, but he only had one hand on the ball, it looks like, after the replay was shown. Murphy doesn't let up, gets the ball again, puts it underneath him. We're 2 0 up going into half time. Beautiful, beautiful. And obviously, Huddersfield still, you know, was intent on getting something out of this game. Uh, Moy went close with another effort, obviously, before obviously he scored the penalty. Um, but yeah, even their penalty as well, I was thinking, that's, that's harsh to give a penalty like that, you know. Really, really soft penalty. You know, bursting into the box, I think it was Kachunga, who uh, was let off the lease. Let off the leash by a it for that one time or not. Um, went down under a poor decision for me. Shelby maybe blown on him, probably. He went down. Pennant was awarded. I think the referee gave it just to even up the odds, maybe. Uh, put away well by Moy, obviously. Sent Dala the wrong way. And then it was intense. I think that was around about 70 minutes. Um, obviously, substitutions were made. Gail came on as well. Happy to see that, even though I thought maybe he's rushed back a bit too soon. But obviously, what do I know, man? Obviously, he he was um, <laughs> he came up trumps as well, and obviously, you can hear in my voice I'm suffering from just going crazy on that third goal. If you've seen it on Twitter, you know I didn't even realise I could scream that high, <laughs> but that's how intense it was at the, at the death. You know, our third goal comes from a corner coming in from them. We clear it, I think once, but twice. I think Shelby cleared it once, comes back in. And Clark clears it again. Their defender doesn't get anything on it. Their keeper, I think he's a reserve keeper, Joel Coleman, gets a head onto it or tries to get a head onto it, heads it the wrong way. Gale's on it like a flash, man. Literally like a flash. And all he has to do is head it and he just lets it run over the line. And then, as you can see, the celebration of Gale just calmed down. It's all bad. Similar to what he did against Leeds. I don't know if it's a Yorkshire thing. Uh, hopefully no asthma pumps to throw this time around and that was it game set match and that's it three points taken for Huddersfield Town and we needed that for so many reasons when they beat us 2-1 I was bitter and obviously the fans the Huddersfield Town fans online should I say added to that when I was down there on the ground it wasn't like that way because Huddersfield Town fans show me and my mates so much love it's unreal so fair play to you guys who, who we've seen in the flesh but yes, that is six massive points taken in the space of a week, beating two of your rivals in the space of seven days. Not even seven days, really. Like, oh, on to Reading now, and this is a third massive test as well. Third massive test. But let's make it clear. The top of the league, we're ahead by five points. Sorry, in the instant reaction, I must have said four. Got my maths wrong. Never been great at maths, by the way. Uh, 11 points clear of Huddersfield Town now who are sitting third. So we are cruising into this game. Uh, Newcastle United fans, we can be happy now. You know, let's be honest. We can be confident now. We're 11 points clear of Huddersfield, five points clear of Brighton, playing Reading. Yes, we've got a few good hard games coming up. We've got Fulham coming up soon. We've got Sheffield Wednesday on the road coming up soon as well. But let's take each game as it comes. Oh, God, I sound like Rafa now. <laughs> But yeah, once again, I just want to say thank you very much to the LaSalle's family for giving me that ticket. Uh, thank you for everyone who's just been so welcoming, especially in Newcastle, especially at the game yesterday, just saying, you know, how well I'm doing in my videos and that. So thanks once again. Fan cans will be out soon. Match day experience will be up soon. Thank you for the support of the last match day experience, especially with the bright one. I felt that went quite well, or well received. And yeah, on to Reddit now. Let's take it one. Let's have it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. I'll see you guys all soon.
keep it tuned. Peace.